So that's what I came here for, to eat macadamia nut snowball cookies on the top of Chinaman's hat. Oh, sh But I'm not wearing your mouth. Aloha. So today, I'm taking you on an adventure to five of Oahu's top attractions, all within Kanyohi, the city that's known for its Koala Mountains that are majestic in nature and a photographer's dream. It's just something you gotta see for yourself. I was born and raised here, been living here for almost um, four decades. <laughs> and it's safe to say, I think I know a thing or two about living here, but I'm here to talk about five things, five attractions. First is the Kanyohi Sandbar. The second is the Kanyohi Sandbar. It's gonna be a fun adventure, so enough of me talking, let's go. Did you bring your swim gear? Because you're going to need it for the first adventure. Okay. The first attraction is the Kanyohi Sandbar. The Kanyohi Sandbar is, um, it's a sandbar that's in the middle of the ocean. I almost feel like I'm at the Maldives. Well, maybe I'm pushing it. I am touching the sand below me. Right in the middle of the ocean. People like to come here to snorkel. It's an ideal destination for family and friends to hang out, party, eat, have a drink or two. Sorry I forgot the wine and alcohol. Next time, next time. Cheers. Cheers. But if you're lucky like us, we had the place all to ourselves. It almost felt like a romantic getaway. We got to play our own music, admiring the view, and just escaping the world. Dream. So here she is enjoying this view while I slave and take her wherever she wants to go. Where you want to go? Okay, I guess that's where we're going. <laughs> some practical information, some people like to come here by boat, tours, but we went there through kayaking. Just get a little bit more in the middle over there where, she, where they are. And we launched from the Heiia State Park and rented our gear there. So we're here at the Heiia State Park and we're gonna gain access to the Kanyohi Sandbar this way. Right out here. They have kayak rentals for two people, which you can rent out for $75 for four hours. And for $10 more at $85, you can rent it out for eight hours the full day. I would highly recommend you going early in the morning so you can have more time. And uh, I think it's more low tide during that time period. It also takes approximately 30 minutes to get out there. So just keep that in mind that, you know, you want to have as much time as possible without worrying about not bringing it back in time because you do have to bring it back by 4 p.m. It costs $5 to rent out the waterproof bag so you can put all your electronics in so it doesn't get wet. And it costs another $5 to rent out the anchor. Then just take it. It makes it really handy. You can put this thing down, take photos and videos without worrying about your kayak wandering off into the middle of the ocean. The second attraction is the Kualoa Ranch ATV Raptor Tour. The Kualoa Ranch is by far the most popular attraction here on the island of Oahu. <laughs> if you don't know what the Kualoa Ranch is, basically it's a really popular area where a lot of movies were filmed, whether it was Jurassic World, Jumanji, Godzilla, and many others. There's many beautiful mountains here. It's a big open area and you see for yourself when we go in. So right now we're here at the Kualoa Ranch. My horse friends are over here, but we're not here for horses. We're here to go on the ATV Raptor tour. It's two hours long. We're gonna circle around this huge area with all the Kualoa Mountains. See some great sights like uh, where the movies were filmed. Enough of me talking. Let's get in line and let's get ready to go on this ATV tour. I guess we have our own tables. Yeah, it makes us feel special. Well, we should be treated specially because it costs $140 per person for this ATV tour. But uh, we'll see if it's worth it. And I'm sure it is because I hear nothing but great reviews over here. They go out rain or shine. So when you log on to the site and go look under ATV tours, it says they go out rain or shine. So I'm assuming it's more fun when it's rainy. So because uh, you get more dirty and um, some people like to get dirty but i don't really but anyhow we just have to wait and let's go on this tour
Let's go. They have the one hour ATV Raptor tour, but since you're here, you might as well just go all out and do the two hour ATV Raptor tour. You go through three different valleys. Just, wow, look at that. You have the Koala Mountains, the ocean view. You have all the different movie sites. And there's a vast history about the Koloa Ranch which the tour guide will explain to you when you stop off at different areas. Keep in mind that this place is a lot of fun and you have to at least be 21 years old with a valid driver's license to be able to ride the ATV tour. Uh, you're allowed to swap out at any time. Oh, okay, next stop maybe. Yeah. Next stop, next stop. <laughs> the last part of the tour, we stopped off and we saw the Mokoli'i Island, which is also known as Chinaman's Hat which is the third attraction that I'm going to talk about shortly. So we have some of the best attractions in Oahu all in one area. Right here at the cool little park, Chinaman's Hat, the Kanyohi Sandbar, and many other areas over here. The third attraction is the Mokoli'i Island, also known as Chinaman's Hat. It's directly across the Kualoa Ranch at the Kualoa Beach Park and when we got there, we decided we wanted to kayak to Chinaman's Hat. From the area where we launched off to Chinaman's Hat, it takes approximately 20 minutes to get there. It's not that long. Also, during low tide, you can actually walk over or swim there. You walk the whole way? But if you're not an expert or you don't know the area, I highly recommend you kayak instead. And when you get to Chinaman's Hat, they have an area where you can place your kayak there. I highly recommend that you just circle around the island of Chinaman's Hat when you first get there just so you can take in the views and understand the area. Just to let you know, it's rocky all the way around. Let's go to the top. And I want to enjoy these snowball cookies that I have. So I'm going to go up there, enjoy my snowball cookies, and be in a world of my own. <laughs> so this is 100% the trail. It's a clear path and it's right there. Yeah, let's go up. and hikes aren't made for tall Polynesians. Before you get to the top, you notice that you need a rope to climb up. We have this rope here, it's gonna help us get to the top. That could be quite dangerous, so just take caution and don't do it if you're not in athletic shape. But when you do get to the top, whew, we're at the top of Chinaman's Hat now. Wow, they have amazing views of the ocean, Koala Mountains. Born a racer in Hawaii, I hike a lot, and I've never seen views like this before. Everything that's awesome usually isn't easy. So that's what I came here for, to eat macadamia nut snowball cookies on the top of Chinaman's Hat. Oh, sh I got to eat my macadamia nut snowball cookies when I was up there. It's so crunchy. But it melts right in your mouth. There's nothing better in life than eating snowball cookies with this ocean view and the cool little ranch in the background. I've had snowball cookies from all different types of cookie places. Cookie corner, wherever else I can find them and no one beats the macadamia nut farm. So right now we're approaching the macadamia farm outlet, Tropical Farms. They're open today, that's great. This place is so highly underrated. It has the best macadamia nuts, coffee, but to be honest, I'm here for the snowball cookies. It's free, but uh, I do feel the pressure to buy it every time I eat. They're the best hands down. I'm gonna go eat them at Chinaman's Hat. I didn't even know snowball cookies. What is it? Uh, I'm not gonna give me enough snowball cookies. I shared there with some of those guys that are pretty buff because, you know, I was hoping that maybe they'll get fat and um, they wouldn't have as big muscles because I, I wanted big muscles like that. So, if you do decide to walk over during low tide 
at least be a strong swimmer and keep in mind that it might get high tide on the way back. I know that in the past there have been a couple of incidents where people have died trying to swim back from Chinaman's Hat because the current is unpredictable. So please keep that in mind. Have a waterproof vest on, be a strong swimmer, and go with a couple other people. Got it? Good. Now off to the fourth attraction. So right now we're going to the Byoden Temple. It's in Kanyohi and it's at the Valley of the Temple Cemetery. And boom, this parking lot over here. The Byonin Temple is a Buddhist Japanese temple and I like how the way it's combined with the Hawaiian feel with the Koalao Mountains in the background. So adults and teens cost $5, seniors cost $4 to get in and children cost $2. So keep that in mind when you go to the Byonin Temple. Hello, uh, two of those please. Oh, and the Kama Aina Raid. And $3 if you're a Hawaii resident, like me. Oh, you can't tell where my nose. <laughs> uh, this place was first opened up on June 7th, 1968 to celebrate the 100 year anniversary of the first Japanese immigrants to Hawaii. So they established this. And this is beautiful, check it out. Exact replica of a 950 year old Gyoden temple in Uji, Japan. So, the very first thing you do over here is that you ring the Bansho, which is the bell here. Good thoughts. So, please keep in mind that before we enter the temple, this place is not really a, a place of worship. I mean, we don't have Buddhists and monasteries coming here to worship. Although, we do pay our respects over here to the culture, um, this is more like a tourist attraction, to be honest. It's not gonna hurt you. Ah. <laughs> here you go, here you go. Ah. All right guys, that's it for the Bjornan Temple. I'm gonna be out and I want to say one thing before we left. Aloha. So right now we're heading to the new Anu Poly Lookout. How can I get there? Oh, right here. Just for your information, Pali means cliff in Hawaiian. We are here at the Pali Lookout, so we'll be looking out over the cliff. Just for your info. Seven dollars for parking. So, Hawaii residents pay for free. So, I just complained for nothing here. If we just walk a little bit more down, I'll show you the entrance to the Palipuka hike. The Palipuka hike is approximately a mile. Um, even though it's only a mile long, it's really, really dangerous. It's because if you slip, you could fall a thousand feet. Um, that's why they have it closed off because um, it's too dangerous for people, but people still get to go through here. See that cliff right at the top? That's where they're going to. One of these days, I'm gonna build the courage to do so. I'm a fan of hikes, but I'm not a fan of hikes where uh, if I slip, I This place has significant value as far as Hawaiian history. Of course, it has great panoramic, breathtaking views. But this place was known as the area in the late 1700s where King Kamehameha fought to try to unify all the Hawaiian islands. And during this battle, uh, King Kamehameha and his people had threw hundreds of warriors off this cliff. Don't be throwing people off this cliff because if you do, you're gonna end up in jail. If you end up in jail, that means you can't like and subscribe to this channel and you can't share. So over here, it leads to another cool area which is the Old Pali Road and there's gonna be a hike that you might find called the Likeke Falls. I have another video about me passing through this area. And you can find that in the link down below. So check it out. All right guys, so that's it. A big mahalo for watching this whole video. Subscribe to this channel and follow me at Hawaiian Traveler on Instagram that's located on the bottom below. I'm gonna go finish up this Friendship Garden Trail. You know, the Ford Trail, my other Kanye video that you're gonna watch right after this. <laughs> All right guys, I'm gonna go. Aloha.
See, see what this Buddhist temple does? It makes us all loving and peaceful. Because oh, most of the way. time, we're just arguing and yelling and breaking things. But when the camera's on, we're all lovey, smiley, and we act like uh, we've never been in an argument <laughs> before. <laughs> I'm joking. We love each other very much. <laughs>